All right, man, y'all want to introduce yourselves? I'm Dino from Six Dudes East Coast, neighborhood crib. Yeah, I'm Cat Caesar from 76 Street East Coast. Squake again, Six Dudes. Man, it's good to finally meet you, man. I heard a lot about you, Cat Caesar. Uh, um, so, shit, I don't know if y'all want to get started now or y'all want to wait for some more people. Or... You, know, you talk to anybody else? Yeah, well, well what, Buddha on them puppies? Buddha are supposed to become First Street. I don't know what happened to T-Bone, man. T-Bone, what ain't coming? Yeah, I know he in Arizona. Yeah, yeah, he ain't coming. Uh, Merck and uh, Lil Mike, mm -hmm. they were supposed to come. Yeah, Merck, Lil Mike, uh, Bull, Woods yeah. at the Dan. Oh, and he said 1200 coming. All right. Yeah, we we, we could start with you, Cat Caesar, just on a not the one to one nine or twelve hundred, but just on a friendship with Raymond Washington and uh, the beginning of seven six. If you, yeah, I'm yeah, oh, yeah. All right. yeah. Uh, approximately, how old are you now? Uh, I'm sixty one. And where'd you grow up at? I grew up. Well, I grew up was what originally was was called. The city of Florence. Okay. You know, but the east side of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. You know how you have Watts, um, didn't have their own own city hall and right. so forth. Right. And same thing, um, the city of Florence. But uh, yeah, that's where I started off at growing up. But see, I'm originated out of New Orleans. Okay. When did you come to LA? And, yeah, well, my fa family. Migrated from from Louisiana in in 1960. All right. So we made our way to the neighborhood I grew up in, maybe like around 61, around 61, because we stayed a few uh, a few other little places, you know, prior to make, making our way to the city of Florence. Um, uh, what uh, what what junior high school did you attend? Well, I went to Edison um, Junior High my whole three years, you know, and at that time, when I first started going to Edison, you had little ga games um, um, like the McCoy Boys, um, you had the Beach Boys that, that turned out to be bishops. Mm -hmm. Then, then the Pavlo, mm -hmm. you had them. Um, then the Figaro boys was off of Figaro, and then the Avenues. Mm -hmm. You know, all these little gangs came after the Slawsons and the Businessman, and all of them faded away. Mm -hmm. You had these little little gangs. Now, Raymond, he stayed on the other side of Central in the in the seventies, but he wanted to hang out with the avenues that was in in the eighties. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Raymond was rowdy, you know, and Raymond was uh like a troublemaker to them. But Raymond was just being a youngster, Raymond. Mm -hmm. So they didn't want Raymond to hang out, so he decided to start his own game. And then that's when the Crips was born. See, but the Crips started in 69, the Crips started just a little small gang. Mm -hmm. Small little neighborhood. It never was meant to blow up the way it did. Right. You know, it was just a small little neighborhood. Then in 1970, the baby Crips came about, you know. See, and at the time, my side of Central, we didn't want to be Crip. You know, because we had our own little game, you know. So you was east of Central? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was on on the east side of Central. Mm -hmm. And now we knew all these guys, but we didn't really want to be Crips. Mm -hmm. You know, because we had our own little thing going on. Mm -hmm. and, and the Crips was pretty much on the other side of Central, but it Within months, it was spilling on my side of Central because there ain't nothing but a street, right. you know. So, and, and then we knew them all. I'm going to ask, you know. Um, then we decided, you know, 
you know, it's time for us to start being Crips too. Because, you know, everybody, everybody else around us started being Crips. Um, Big Pit Bull, number one, Eki, and all them, they was Crips. So, you know, we say, you know, let's start, um, we're going to start being Crips also. But see, I met Raymond in 1969, mm -hmm. you know. Um, he was about 11 years old then. Yeah, I was a youngster, and we was um, over there still. Mm -hmm. Me, uh, a friend of mine, Bernard Anderson, another friend, Butch. We were there stealing, got bike parts, and we're going through his alley. And um, we got about to the next house, and um, you know, somebody said, uh, hey, y'all, come here. So we turned around, and we see this youngster, this big youngster, that looked like a man to us. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we're a lot younger young. than him. Right. And he had a red natural pick in his head. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. so my first thought, mess might have bust this man up in the head. You know what I'm saying? You know, just glance, turn around, glancing, and you say, hey, y'all, come here. We just broke out running. Mm -hmm. But he ended up catching Bush. And he hollered out, if y'all don't come back, I'm going to blow his head off. Mm -hmm. So me, Bernard, we decided, man, let's go, go back to him. And we talked to him. Now, I didn't know nothing about no, no Raymond Washington. Mm -hmm. You know? But, you know, we talked talk for about 30 minutes an hour. We gave him a few bike parts, some keys we had, where we used to go to alleys, trying locks, <laughs> breaking the people garages and stuff, because we was out there, mm -hmm. you know. And um, that's how I first met Raymond. And from then on, you know, I never really hung with him because he was a big homie then. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I not. I, I see him every now and then and, you know, speak to him and so forth. And I had a, a lot of respect for, for him, you know, for him at that time. Mm -hmm. But um, in, in 1972, see, a lot of people, um, they think Raymond left later and went to um, prison. Mm -hmm. But Raymond left in 1972 after his road dog, Big Craig Crowder, got killed at the liquor store on 78 and Central. Central. Wow. You know, then Raymond left and went to Tracy then, mm -hmm. you know. So at that at that point, that's when everything started ungluing. Mm. Because there was nobody out there to really uh, um, give us that, 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 um, that guidance, mm -hmm. no one to really push that hard line, mm -hmm. you know. So that's when everything started ungluing, and all the neighborhoods started uh, adapting their own names now, you know. Because my neighborhood, from from Baby Crips, we were Baby Crips in my neighborhood, and we started being Mafia Crips. Mm -hmm. On Raymond's side of the Central, Castle Crips. Mm -hmm. And we, we was the same neighborhood, but the thing was, we started adapting them different names, and that's where conflict started coming at. Because everybody wants their name to be the, the number one name. name. Right. You know. Let me stop you for a minute. Uh, when you was at Edison, uh, was the Swans out yet? No, no. And Swans, what? Swans come out in in 1972, mm -hmm. and. Um, the, all the original swans was Crips. Cookie Man, Elvis Dexter. Dexter yeah. He was Crips. I remember when I first met, met Elvis Dexter, when they first moved on 81st and Avalon. You know, um, that night he was closing his door and his finger got stuck in the door and he pulled it out. That's how he lost the tip of mm -hmm. his finger. And we was on 78 and Avalon at a party at the apartments. And we didn't know Elvis, but he he was in the little little group with us talking and he told us about how he pulled his finger. And then 
from then on, I, I would see him every now and then. He would, he would hang with Terry Simmons and that, you know. So in 1972, I ran across Elvis Dexter at the WLCC. That's where we was working. And he was telling me about, yeah, we um, was trying to own a gang called Swan. But, you know, I, we're not tripping on, on those swans, you know. Because, number one, we don't know nothing about them. And they they were so small. And it was, it was uh, East Side Crips, mm -hmm. you know. And, um. Okay, let me stop you again. Uh, all right, now, you said the Castle Crips was on Rainer side of Central, which is west of Central. Yes. Where was the castle located? Well, the castle was was located on on Central between seventy eight and seventy seven. East of Central or west? Uh, um, um, west, west of Central on seventy eight, eight, um, next to the liquor store on the corner where Craig Crowder got killed. It it was an abandoned hotel, and we used to kick it up in there, disc school, be up in there, dragging, listening to to, uh, to music, you know, just hiding out up in there. All right, so so that big apartment building on the corner of Seventy First and Hooper was never the castle. That's well, that became the castle on that side of of the neighborhood once they tore down. Okay. The original castle. Okay. Thank you, because people my generation and doing this history don't know there was two castles. Thanks for clearing that up. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so that's the original castle is west of Central. Yeah. In Raymond's old neighborhood. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the Shack Boys when they came in and what you know about them. Well, the Shack Boys, in that season 75, I went to White. Um... When, when I was in YA, you know, years started going by um, gang banging on on the east side was kind of slowing up because now you had um, a lot of dudes wearing Barcelinos and Stacey Adams, you know, getting the perms and so forth, trying to get money. Then they had, had the angel dust coming out. Mm -hmm. So, game banging was slowing up a little bit. So, a lot of, not not all, but a lot of East Side gangs started started slowing their road. Um, um, pretty much more busy trying to get money. So, you know, they wasn't really banging like that no more. Hmm. Um, so now you had these these younger generations creating their own. Um, so in, like in my neighborhood you had had the 76 plate shack boys. You know. And um they had came up but I didn't really have nothing to do with it because I was from Mafia. I was from 76 Street Mafia and you had 70 Seventy fifth Street Mafia, you know. I was from Mafia, and I was still uh, um, embracing the Mafia thing. But the youngsters, they was, you know, doing the Shack Boy little thing, in which I respected because they was my little homies. 